and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys for a news roundup today that is the majority very good news and you did hear that correctly. Today we are going to be discussing some good things here in relation to Barca as we're going to be discussing the likes of Pedri and Sufati, the return of Sergio Aguero and a stunning goal in international duty for Serginho Dest. We are also going to be discussing Sergio Roberto's contract situation and also Ricky Pooch's future at this club. It is all coming up so get ready. And let's do this. Because first things first, on the contract front, we've got to talk about Pedri. We have to talk today about the big, breaking, official news that Pedri will sign a new long-term deal at this club. His future is right here. Barca officially confirmed today that Pedri will sign a renewal until 2026. And get this, his new release clause... It'll be one billion. If you want Pedri, if you're a club out there that are thinking, I'm going to make an ambitious approach to Barca to buy Pedri, well, his release clause now, it's going to be one billion euros. And for me, that is fantastic news. Right there from the length of that extension until 2026, that is a really long-term deal there, securing Pedri at this club for the next five years minimum, and also that release clause. Because what that says is, we're not messing around. We are aware of our situation, we are aware here that we're having to work really, really hard to get back on top, but we're not messing about here. We have players that we want to keep at this club, to base our future around. Pedri Pedri is certainly one of those, and to have him here make this commitment. We know that we're struggling right now, we know that finances are not what they were, and certainly here, Pedri would have made sacrifices in order to sign this deal, in order to stay and succeed at this club. He would have had to have made some cuts there, he would have had to have probably accepted less than he would have got at other clubs. But that's the thing, he wants to be here, he wants to succeed in the Barca shirts, and I am so excited to see this young man still only 18 years old at the heart of our midfield for, believe me, many, many years to come. And of course, guys, it doesn't stop there either, because whilst we're talking about the future, while we're talking about players that we want to base our plans around, looking towards those next few years, of course, we're going to talk about Ansu Fati. The club are really, really hoping that he is going to be the next name over the line. We are hoping here to wrap up renewals for Pedri, and indeed Ansu Fati very, very soon. Talks have been taking place right throughout this week there between the club and Ansu's agent, of course, George Mendes. There's a good feeling between both parties. Nothing has been completely agreed on both sides just yet. There are still some things that need to be ironed out, some details that need to be resolved, but there is a very good feeling, and Barca are confident here, of renewing Ansu, which alongside Pedri, that would be stunning news. But this is the very important thing, because I feel looking to the future of this club, building a better Barca and getting back on the right track, it's not just about who you renew. It's not just about the players that you manage to keep at the club, but it's also about those that maybe you don't. And I want to talk now about Sergi Roberto. We all know that his contract expires this coming summer, in the summer there of 2022. Now, talks have been ongoing since probably back in the summer, maybe even before then, about a renewal on that contract. He is, of course, one of the four captains at the club, and it all seemed to be very, very close to happening, and it seemed like Sergi Roberto was going to extend his stay at Barca. However, that agreement never really happened. It never really materialised, and so much so that over the past 10 days or so, the club and Sergio Roberto's representatives, they've just gotten further and further and further apart. And right now, it's being reported in the Spanish media that if Barca are going to reopen those talks, which, by the way, there's no guarantee that we even will reopen them. It might be now a closed door. It might be a closed book on Sergio Roberto. But even if we did reopen them, all of those negotiations, they would start from scratch at the very beginning. And the club and Roberto right now are a long, long way from agreeing any renewal. And look for me. 
that's good news. I do not think that looking to the future, building a better Barca, getting back on the right track, it doesn't include Sergio Roberto. It doesn't include their begging players like Roberto to stay at this club. He earns right now over 200,000 euros a week. Now, it was reported that he was going to take a pay cut there of 50%, but apparently he didn't like that. He still wants to be earning there over 150,000 euros every week. And I'm sorry, but he's just not worth that. From next year, he's going to be there entering his 30s. Of course, he's had many years of service that he's given to this club, and I appreciate that, and I thank him for that, but I just feel like at the end of the season, we should be saying, thank you very much, we appreciate what you've done, somebody who's been a very useful utility player. But for that kind of wage, that kind of salary, given our financial problems, it's not a renewal that, in my view, we should be activating. And it's interesting, guys, because that brings me very swiftly on. Of course, Roberto has been playing mostly in midfield this season. And I want to talk about another midfielder, somebody there who's received a lot less minutes than Sergio Roberto this season, because I want to talk about Ricky Pooch. We all know that under Ronald Koeman, right throughout his time at the club, he seems to have some sort of personal problem with Ricky. And as a result of that, rumours are already starting there that maybe in January, Ricky could go out on loan if Koeman, of course, is still at the club, or maybe even his time time at the club could be coming to an end if he doesn't start to play more. And I just want to highlight so far this season, whether you rate Ricky Pooch or whether you don't, for me, regardless of all that, he should have had more minutes. With the injury problems that we've had, with the youngsters that we've had to play, and of course Ronald Koeman has been very, very quick to say, I don't have the options, but one that he does have is Ricky, and you're about to see that he's not only not played him, but he just blatantly ignores him. Because Pedri, this season, has made four appearances, with all of those coming from the starting lineup. He's played 310 minutes so far, and it also has to be noted, of course, he's had injury problems. So Pedri there has played pretty much all the minutes that he possibly could. Then you've got Gavi, of course, another emerging, exciting talent in midfield. Seven appearances for him, three starts, 363 minutes. And of course, we all want to see him in the team. Nico Gonzalez has made six appearances, Two starts for him and 197 minutes. And just look here at the comparison. Because you would estimate that looking at those names there, Pedri, Gavi, Nico, Ricky Puch for me should be getting close to those numbers. You know, maybe he shouldn't be in the team all the time. Maybe he shouldn't be a constant option. But he should be there or thereabouts. He should be receiving his fair share to try and snatch that opportunity. But this season, four appearances, no starts for him and less than 100 minutes. He has played there just 72 minutes, not even the equivalent of a full match. And I just think that's wrong. I just think there for somebody, there's no real justification for that. That's what I would say there towards Ronald Koeman. And I just think that either by January, if Koeman is still here, Pooch has to seriously think about his options. He needs to play football. When you look around him and you see what Gavi is being able to do, when you look at Pedri, when you look at now Nico Gonzalez, he needs to be playing. He needs to be developing. He can't allow himself here to be left behind. Clearly with Koeman, something has gone on there. Something away from football. Because those kind of numbers, like I say... You can't justify that. But one man indeed that Ronald Koeman will be very, very happy to have available once again, and somebody who will certainly get his fair share of minutes in this team, is Sergio Aguero. It is being reported right now that on Sunday, at the Camp Nou against Valencia, Aguero will make his official Barca debut, and that will be absolutely incredible there to see that. And he did make a really big step towards that on Wednesday, because Aguero there played the first half an hour of a practice this match in training there against UE Cornea. He actually scored. He actually scored a very useful goal. It was a really close range kind of goal there. Right place, right time. He manoeuvred his way around the goalkeeper before just tapping it into the empty net. And to be honest, that's the kind of goals that we need. We don't really need somebody right now who's going to go past two or three players, score a brilliant wonder goal, who's going to be popping up there, creating chances, getting on the ball. What we need in this team is somebody to be a poacher, somebody to be on the end of the chances that we create. Because actually this season, we created decent chances. We've had opportunities in games where we should have scored more, where we should have been more efficient. And I think Aguero back in this team, providing, of course, that he can stay fit, that is the biggest, biggest problem with him. It's about getting him out there. Because I think if we can play him, if he can be in the team, 
He'll score goals. You can absolutely guarantee that wherever he's been throughout his career, whatever team he's been in, he scores. It's in his nature. He can be a prolific player in this team with the chances that he'll get. But what we have to do is look after him, keep him fit, and hopefully on Sunday, we will see, coming off the bench, Aguero make his debut. But of course, guys, just before we do end, we have spoken over the past few days about players who've gone away on international duty and performed really, really well for their countries. Well, last night, for the United States, Serginho Dest did exactly that. What a wonderful, wonderful goal that he scored there in the USA's World Cup qualifying match against Costa Rica. And it was a big goal too. They were 1-0 down in the first half. They hadn't scored a first half goal for a long, long time. But Dest popped up, cut in on his left. Wonderful strike into the top corner. Big, big goal for them before they then went on to turn the game around and win by two goals to one. So really, really good to see Dest following up some good form at club level, then going away, scoring for his country and let Let's hope now that all of these players, the players for Spain, Serginho Dest there for the USA, they need to bring all of that confidence, all of that belief now, back with them to club level. Because we're going to need, especially with the games to come, we discussed it two days ago, we have a massive massive month ahead. So please guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below there. What do you make of the fantastic news that Pedri is going to be with us until at least 2026? Also, let me know your thoughts on Ansu, Roberto's situation, Ricky's situation at the club, and also there the return of Sergio Aguero. Please let me know all those thoughts down below. Of course, very soon, we are going to be building up to that big game at the camp now against Valencia. I will see you then, guys, and I thank you indeed, of course, for getting involved in the comments and for watching today. I will see you soon, but until next time, as always, Vishka, El Pasa.